Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Kelly, this is Jimmy Martin with Coldwell Banker. I am going to be your agent um, on this journey to find you a home. So I came out here to 108 um, Cooper Nursery Road, and the house is behind me, and I just want to pan around and just show you some of the other houses in the neighborhood. That's a, it's a really nice house. So, so this is um, Wood Creek Farms, and Wood Creek Farms, this is one of the neighborhoods inside of Wood Creek Farms. This is where a lot of, um, a lot of people live that's um you know uh, i guess you could say ha well do good job so forth and so on and everything so it's one of those neighborhoods that if you buy into if it's at a good price you'll get your money back i can't predict the market but hey that's that's what i know about this area homes homes in here are a, a couple hundred thousand of course but let's go inside and take a look around all right so standing out in front of the house uh roof doesn't look bad it looks pretty good the driveway out here um you know it's got some cracks it's your normal you know older driveway and everything it's got some um stress um uh, cracks and everything so we'll walk up to the house and there's just a few things here and there you just need some touch-up paint on the outside up here the gutters are probably full of um pine straw because there's some pine trees right there and a lot of uh a lot of uh grass to cut of course that's no snow biggie shrubs and so forth and so on so beautiful brick home got some stucco around the um around those windows right there if you do look up there and that area up there it looks like there might be some water damage and also over there in that area right there too but that's something that we'll look at with a home inspection of course and as we go inside uh the door doorway yeah it needs to be painted it looks like it was a natural wood and they painted it a dark color so, um, like I said, it's got stucco around this area, which is nothing wrong with that. You just got to get a, another kind of inspector to look at it. And I think you got marble um, tile when you first come in. You got a grand staircase. Now, I guess this was the the formal dining room. I like they had to do some some um, major work in here and tear up the the hardwood floors in here and everything. I don't the 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 subfloor doesn't look bad to me, but that's just in this area. I haven't walked through the house yet and everything. So this might be um, something to your liking or maybe not. Now this is the room to the right. I guess you can make like a formal um, living room. Uh, hardwoods in here look really good. And your bay window, you do have some stainage up here, as you can see, I don't know if you can see that well enough. And, um, Plantation shutters throughout the bottom floor looks like so far. Gas fireplace, you have to get that checked out. Now, even though this is a foreclosure, this is something that you can get inspected. If you want to back out because it's just too much of a pain <laughs> to fix, that's something that, that can be done. Just want to give you a shot back toward the door. Now, as we're leaving that um, formal living room and everything, uh, this would be um one of the bedrooms i would imagine it would be the master on the main or the owner's suite because you do have the bathroom in here and it's a really nice bathroom it has your his and her closet and you have um your dual vanities one on one side or one on the other like you have to put some mirrors in here it does have a water closet that's always a good feature and inside here is of course your shower We'll turn that light on, look in here. You have the waterfall shower in here. Nice marble work in here. This tub is jetted. And just get you a look back here. Take a look at this water closet real quick. And back around here, and we'll go back out to the owner suite. And I wanted to show you that the water is not on in here. I'll try it in other parts of the house but the water is not on. That's something that would have to be cut on for, for a good inspector to be able to, 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 to make sure that, that anything that's an issue with this home will need to get fixed and everything. So of course we're back in the, back in the um, owner suite and you do have built-ins, you have a gas fireplace in here. Um, you have a ceiling fan, of course, yes, the electricity is on in this home. And this is more of a sitting room here you could put more of your furniture or just an area to, you could, I, I know some <laughs> bedrooms, it's not this um, big. And you do have an access to be able to go out onto the porch. And this is more of a, this is a, the other side of the formal dining, uh, formal living room. This could be 
um, a formal living room. The other one could be a formal dining room or either way, which one you want to do it. Cause this goes out toward the pool. We're going to go out there and take a look at that. It does have a fireplace in here. It does have, looks like surround sound speakers up there. And I don't see any stains on the roof in here, but as we go into the kitchen, we'll look around. Now this I'm assuming is part of the kitchen. It looks like um, some work is being done as more of a bar area. This could be where a lot of entertainment could go on because this slab of granite, which is a really good piece, is going to go right there. And of course, and then you have your kitchen, but right now it's just a, an area, more of a sitting area, more of an entertaining area if that's what you guys want to do. And then here is, of course, your kitchen, open, very, very open, nice granite, two-tone cabinetry. Refrigerator is one of those refrigerators that um, is built in with the cabinet, has the nice look on that side. So it has the, and, and I think it's, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to um, push that up to be able to shut the door. But um, around here, you do have a gas range um, here. That's a Gen Air. That's a good name. Of course, you could do a little bit of grilling and everything. I'm going to try the water here, and there's no water here. And like I said, there is plantation shutters throughout. You have a built-in stove, built-in microwave, plenty of cabinet work, cab cabinetry in here. Um, the uh, wallpaper may or may not be your style. And then also you have what has been going on over here with the um, f um, fixing of this. Now that's not gonna be a wide area to come down. It's not gonna be that wide when this piece of granite goes back over here with all these drawers and stuff. It's gonna be only about that wide as you see right there. This is the bathroom coming off of where the two doors I was telling you about. And of course your door where the um, formal um, living room or dining room, whichever one you wanna do it and everything. This is what was, this may have been the issue what started everything. It must've had a flood in here. I don't know, but all this is torn out and everything. This is like the hallway bathroom. So all the floor has been tore out in here. You do have this marble tile and, and you, you already seen all this and it goes right back around into the butler's pantry. And then of course, but you know, it's a beautiful staircase as you go up when you first come in the door, beautiful, but it may be more of a nightmare than what you want to tackle but you need to let me know just wanted to show you real quick this must be some intercom system it's not operational trying to get it to cut on and it won't of course you can tell because you can speak into it and everything and um, as we we're leaving that that door there goes to your garage area and this would be like a little butler's pantry and you see the, the the floor has been torn out in here and then we're going right back into where we first started and uh, this is your laundry room um, huge huge laundry room um, good size. They have the pedestals for um, different size washers and, and inside your um, here you do have a mud room. You do have a uh, half bath here with a pocket door where, the, where people can come in and um, be able to hang stuff and everything. And I just want to make sure there's just a sink there and um, there's a door to be able to go out to the back. And as you go around this way, we'll go back out and we'll take a look at the garage. So you hear that there is a security system, so one is already installed. All you have to do is call ADT or CPI, and they can piggyback on that system. And this door has one of those um, doors that automatically shuts. That's probably also good for, for kids coming in and out and everything. Of course, you see they had to do some kind of rework. Because on the other side of this wall is, is where they had to tear up the floor and everything. And you do see some water damage up there and the bubbling of the paint. That's a pretty good size garage, three-car garage. And up here, I'm going to go up here and look around. And this is uh, over the garage. It's a finished room over the garage. This can be a nice play area for the kids or for the adults. But it has cabinetry, um, woodworking, and there's a door right there. We'll explore that area. But as you come around here, there's like a little stage. That's probably, I don't know if that's styrofoam or not. No, it's, it's hardwood. You do have plantation shutters up here built-ins and everything um probably awesome place to uh, entertain there's actually two other doors so let's go up here and look around in this area go around here and there's a it's like narnia there's like all these different places to go and you're back around to the front so it kind of loops back around we'll check out this bedroom this bedroom has a bathroom in it 
of course, pocket door, and it just keeps going. This is um interesting. Let's just um keep going. There's a uh, shower in here. Of course, I know I'm going kind of fast. I do apologize. There's a commode in here. There's a sink. No water still. This is a, a closet that has a closet. So a closet that has a closet. And if you go back around here, turn these off. This room can be a nice child's room. It's got its own um, bedroom. There's some stains on the floor here. So that's something you'd have to look at. I don't see much of anything as far as like staining up here on the ceiling. And around here is another bedroom overlooks and it does have its own this is like a master upstairs master it has a jetted tub its own water closet and it has a stand-up shower behind this right here it's kind of like a little pantry on oh, the pantry a little um a nook for you to be able to put your clothes in and yeah pretty good size okay room. we're coming out of that room and like i said this this stairwell there's two stairwells there's one in front this is like your main one this is the door, we, door I came in, and that's the damage to the right right there. And this is another bedroom up here that has its own bathroom. So a lot of these rooms upstairs has its own bathrooms in it. It has its own water closet. Um, this one, I don't know if it has a shower or not. Can't tell because the lights are in the, Yep, it has a stand-up shower in here. And like I said, the water is not working here either. So this room up here has a bathroom. The other ones didn't have a pretty good sized closet. Other other room across the hallway did too. Had built-ins. And so we're looking the pool house and the pool. And we'll go back downstairs. So when I walked down that way and we seen all the bedrooms and stuff, and that was just another way. And that was the stairwell that I came on. That's like the back stairwell. The stairway, and also have you a little cabinet, built-in cabinet here. These stairways just go to a half bath, a uh, full bath, excuse me. It has stand-up shower, commode, and sink. We're well, still up here in this in this room, and um, this is some storage that was put in. So you do so this room has plenty of storage. Now people can say, well, can it be considered a bedroom? Well, if it has a window to be able to egress out of, yes. And if it has closet space, yes. So I mean, yes, you could put a couple of day beds up here, and this is where the kids can hang out at when the, when when they have parties and everything. But as far as a a bedroom, it does have its own bathroom. The bathroom I just showed you right there, so it has plenty of storage, and it does have places to be able to hang your clothes. So really, couldn't say this is a bedroom, but it's a place where people can sleep. All right, so we go walk out the back door, and this is like a little screened-in area right here. And uh, we'll see if that's um, open. And uh, be able to get through. I don't know where that water's coming from. I don't think it's coming from up there. We did have a lot of rain, but it's kind of weird that there's water right there in the middle. And we're going to come out here. So this would, so basically what I'm showing right here is these two doors right here go back into where that bar area is at. Uh, well, excuse me. Those two doors go back into the where the bar area is at. This one is that formal um, dining room or formal living room. This is another part of it. Those two doors right there, that will come out from where the master, uh, excuse me, the owner suite is, right between this. If you can see, there's where the, there's where the um, uh, tub and everything's at. So, of course, you know, they have a nice pool over here. And this would be a whole other issue for some people would be the pool. We'll talk about that this in a second. This is probably gonna be a long video because we're gonna talk about this whole outside out here. It is fenced in. You do have this pool. I don't know what is underneath the pool. I don't know if there's water in there, alligators, snakes, whatever, probably snakes. Um, and then you have a uh, built-in um, hot tub, looks like. You do have that building right there. But we're gonna walk over here and look at this. This would be like a little entertainment area that you could have your have your big green egg if you have, or a grill, have some tables. You do have ceiling fans out here. And I just wanna get you a shot of the back of the house where the pool is. And let's look at this area real good. Got a sink out here. Um, there was probably a stove at one point. And yeah, you'd be able to put a table Good size table back here. It's nice and shaded. It's not good. So I guess 
I don't know if that was part of it or that's just over there for whatever reason. And of course, under that fake rock is your irrigation or the pool pool stuff, or maybe in that building that's over there. So you got some stuff here, some locks on it, some electrical you can be able to <clears throat> plug in to. But yeah, nice little nice little entertaining area out here. This is like a little pool house. It's directly um, in front of the pool, straight walk back into the house this way. And um, it's been gutted. It's, it's, it doesn't smell good in here. There's water laying right there. Of course, we had some, some good rain. Speaking, speaking of those um, <clears throat> that rain and everything, the landscape lights out front and around this and everything, they don't look like that they're operational. Some of them are just laying over, laying around, not connected, I don't think. But when you come in here, um, you can smell. I know, you, I know you, you can smell the mold. I can smell it. It's no biggie to me. I won't be in here long. There's plenty of ventilation. This could be made a little different. It has a tile floor. It has a double door here. <clears throat> but this must have been flooded because all the bottom is taken out. As you can see along that wall, you can see the mold and uh, all over here. So something bad happened out here, of course. It does have a toilet. And that's where your rainbird system is. So, yeah, it's a um, nice little house. But you do have some, of course, some issues up there. Just wanted to give you a, a view of the back of the house and um, showing you what all is back here. <clears throat> it seems like it's a lot of money to, to, to get fixed, but hey, that might be something that you're willing to, to do. Um, of course, you know, it's bank owned, so therefore um, that price, it's not set in stone. But I would really recommend you getting a home inspection done, but I can see some issues where I would just, you'd just be wasting your money because I can already see what it is. But you really want to get underneath that house. It does have a crawl space. Get underneath there and see if you got any termite damage. You got any mold underneath there. Get somebody up in that roof up there and check it out. And make sure there's there's no issues up there. So this could be something you may or may not want. But hey, give me a call. Uh, or you know, shoot me an email. And if you see other houses, let me know.